All right. First topic. I got to say this. I got to say this. I think it is time. It is time to start slapping the hell out of DJs who still do this. I don't I don't mean calling them out and stuff like that, but we may have to run them out of town. <laughs> they they've got to go. They've got to go. Um Look, the reason I put this topic and stuff up here is because couples are, are really sick of it. Couples are sick of it. I mean, I know us as DJs are already sick of it, but these couples are tired of the cheesy music that's being played at some of their functions. It's like, keep the kids' music for the kids. Keep the elementary school stuff. Keep the 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 chicken dances and the, the uh, hokey pokies and the... Uh, 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 in this case, keep some of these slides, Cotton Eye Joes, keep some of them slides and stuff out of your music rotation. Now, there are some exceptions because people will request them sometimes, but you got to know the feel of the room, especially if you're having somebody pay you a crap ton of money to DJ. You don't want to be playing the hokey pokey and somebody is paying you, you know, th- you know, 2K and above. And stuff here. I mean, unless she asked for it, which most people don't. These couples are pretty much telling me in my area, in my region here in South Carolina, um, they're they're done with the cheesy music. Like I have a don't playlist and uh, that is on my Vibo setup. And they can pretty much put all the music that they want there. Common selections, the Macarena, Chicken Dance, Cotton Eye Joe, Slides. Bruno Mars, like these are common things that come up. Now, I'm not saying Bruno Mars is cheesy. Bruno, Bruno Mars can just about be played at any event, almost. However, we do play it a lot. So if you're going to play it, try to play a different s- style of it, a different version of it. Mix it up. Maybe bring in an acapella under another beat. Just something to that mixes it up because couples and people in general are just done with these and there are guys out there who are playing whole songs of these could you imagine attending a wedding and somebody is playing the chicken dance and playing the whole song could you imagine that you we as djs would look at them and be like what the hell are you doing like somebody paid you to do this or man this is really cheesy encourage couples to not do the newlywed game also it's cheesy. Games at a wedding is cheesy. It's really, really cheesy. I mean, if you, like I said, if these couples are going to be paying you an absurd amount of money, you've got to help them see how cheesy it is <laughs> to do certain stuff. Now, certain couples will come to you and say, hey, I'd really like to do this on here. And it's real easy for you to even rebuttal back and just let them know, hey, Nobody really does that a whole lot. Like I don't get a, well, maybe I shouldn't say nobody really does that. Maybe you should come across as, you know, a lot of couples have kind of moved on from that. Like they, they, you know, a lot of my couples don't like this type of music and stuff on here. But if that's something you'd like, maybe I can get that in maybe something early or it's like, you know, you know if you had to slide it in, if you have to have those couples that do that, what I'm saying is don't play it on your own. Don't think that it's going to go over on your own. Retire the electric slide. Just retire it. Just flat out. It's not that it's cheesy, but it's your grandma's dance. Retire the electric slide. She likes other music too. Trust me, when it was her time to listen to music, she was not listening to the electric slide like that. She was listening to all the other great music from that era. So just make that portion of the evening just fire Make that opening dance portion where you're trying to play older music. Just make that fire, but don't play the electric slide. Stop. Stop. When you don't have anything else to play, don't turn to a slide and then take up. And then got the, some people even got the nerve, got the absolute nerve to pick up their phone and record or take a picture of people doing a slide. And posted it. Like, what? That is the cheat code. 
I challenge, I challenge every DJ who watches this, every DJ who's watching right now, I challenge you that if a couple doesn't want slides at an event, that you don't play them. Or if they say they love the slides, see if you can get away with only playing one. I challenge you because that will make you dig into your crates more and not rely on slides as a crutch. Now I'm picking on slides because we all play them. I'm picking on Cotton Eye Joe and all those other stuff because people still play them. There are still older DJs and younger DJs who will play this. But as seasoned DJs, people who have been in this game for three to ten years at least, you should not be playing any of these. You should you should have a whole set where you're not even concerned with even getting close to any of these songs. It's just cheesy. Stop it. Stop it. I encourage you to challenge yourself to to put together a a list. And like I I every time I'll tell you this. Every time I'm in a meeting with my couples and they say and it, it's on the do not playlist or I ask them, I say, is there anything you don't want me to play? And they're like, oh, we don't like any cheesy music. I do this right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you don't have to worry about it. It won't be in because they're done with it. They're tired of it. I'm tired of it. I mean, I, I've been DJing for over 20 years. Like I, I've played those songs hundreds of times, maybe even thousands and I still have to play it at certain events because it's like kids. I'll save that stuff for kids because maybe I don't know their music and stuff as much. But we've just got to retire some of this stuff, man. And we've got to stop playing corny music at gigs. we got to flush these DJs out. We've got to make our style so hard to beat that they only want us and they're mad that they can't find somebody like us. That's what I'm in trying to instill and encourage here in this community. I just want us to all be on a different level. I want us all to be successful, but I also want us all to be on the same wavelength. I want it to, I want it to be a challenge for you to pick him or me, but don't pick him. If he's playing cheesy music, that should be what separates us. So let me know and stuff in the comments and stuff down below. If you guys agree with me, what you guys think about this. I just, I keep coming across this because I keep hearing it. I keep hearing it. So there still must be DJs in my area. I haven't seen this face to face, but you know, I have 60 bookings this year total and I do confrontations through zoom every single one of them. I do confrontations. And I sit down and I talk to them and we're almost face to face. And this is the number one thing that comes up. Like we like you because you mix in and out of music. We like you because you don't play whole songs. We like you because you don't play cheesy music. We like you because you keep the party going. You've got to become that DJ. It'll separate you. You can warrant more money when you want to make more money. You could charge $2,000 a gig if you're better than the competition. It's just as simple as that. You got to change your style. And any of my older DJs that's going to give me pushback in the comments, I welcome it. I'm not going to argue with you back and forth. I said what I said and I stand on it. <laughs> I said what I said. So let me know in the comments and stuff down below what you guys think. Let's look at the comments and see what's what you guys are already saying 